Welcome in five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Social September is underway. We had started it last week with Gregory Ash. If you missed that episode, head back, check it out. The dude loves data, dude's data scientist and loves social media data. So if you're looking to get more done, that dude can help you. Um, Along the lines of social, I get asked all the time, and that's what today is about. Where does social fit into the budget, right? Into the marketing funnel, the channel, however you want to say it. And to me, it's it's an integral part that is twofold, and I, and I don't I don't really understand why people make such a lack of connection and, and distinction between the idea of organic so the organic uh, traffic to your website and your paid element to your website, and then that of social media organic content and that of social media paid. Right, like if you can believe in the Google aspect, then how far fetched is the Meta TikTok world here? Right, I don't think it's that far fetched, frankly. Eyeball wise, it seems like there's quite the competition about who has more. So, from a perspective of how I handle my marketing, I mean, five years ago, you asked me this question, I would have told you spend it all with Google. Today, I would tell you that it's not really about spending it on Facebook, Instagram necessarily. Yes, paid should be a part of your perspective, your approach, whatever. But the human capital that I think goes into marketing that gets missed all too often is really what drives social media. We have an offshoot brand uh, of of what we do here. We have a podcast in the cannabis space and it's run, the, the brand is run by somebody. I do content, sure, but somebody else is responsible for the rest of it, right? And that's an investment we're making from the company's perspective to say, Let's see if this can build into something, invest in it, and let's watch and see. Dealerships, most of them, single point, maybe even those who have multiple stores, they still don't really see the value in a what I refer to as a non-selling human. But I will tell you that if you do it right, the clients we have right now that are not blowing my phone up about the end of the world's coming, are ones, the thread they have is they're really solid at organic social media and they engage their community at every step. And I think that is a huge part of what it is we're all trying to accomplish here with what we're doing. And I think as I look at social media through that lens, I would tell you as part of a marketing budget, you should carve out money for the human element, content creation, video, whatever it is. And don't feel like you have to overcommit to one thing or another. And let's not all think that we're going to create content like that of a Mohawk Chevrolet, right? It's not, they're like 1% of 1% as far as I'm concerned on what, what, what should be expectation, right? I think consistency is king. That's what we've always done with my brands. And I think my brands have done just fine. And business to business is different than business to consumer anyways. And it's, I mean, the reports out there data wise, overwhelmingly says that people are using social media posts to have an influence on a buying decision. So to me, being great at organic social media um, needs to be like your cornerstone, really. And I think that you should revert, um, you should keep things separate. So you should keep the selling on the paid side and keep the education, the funny, the community on the organic side. And there are times, special times, but times all the same, when organic content can and should be repurposed for that of the paid element. And again, in the same way that you would use, you know, paid search to to try and attack certain areas, Audience-based targeting seems to be better in the social world than it is in that of the Google world, given the intimacy of details that the social side knows, I think. I don't know. But that's from me. That's what the details show. The data shows that. So, again, the two are pretty well connected. Sure, you can do one without the other. Now, I've always said I think that organic social is a, is a good diet, a good workout plan, good exercise. And that, you know, paid can be that steroid. 
I don't think you should live on just steroids. And I don't think that your brand should always just be selling. And, and let me be clear about something. This goes on the organic social media side of the discussion as well. Because all too often, I find one-way posters. Well, that's a business or an individual. Either one gets removed from my feed pretty quickly because that's annoying. The point of social media is community, is engagement. And so if that's the case, that's what we're here for, then do it. Don't just do it for the vanity of watching everyone like your poster. You creating something that there's 100 likes and 10 comments and you say nothing to any of those 10 comments. Especially as dealerships. Individuals, vanity, vainness, that's fucking par for the course social media. But for businesses, if you don't engage every single comment, good or bad, you are absolutely missing the boat. You are missing an opportunity at some level. Whether it's an opportunity to cultivate an actual customer, whether it's an opportunity to cultivate a future customer, whatever it is, when you do do something and you do it cool and you get attention for it, engage your community. And go out and find ways to tie them together. You know, we just had a conversation with a client who uh, they're going to get with a local business to a giveaway. The client, this is one of the most understanding people I've ever met in the car business in my life, this client. And he says, well, guys, what do, what do we think we're going to spend on that? And I thought my social guy was going to, you know, say, I don't know, a couple thousand. I had no idea. I really didn't. My social guy goes, I don't know, 250 bucks. And the dealer was like, please, come on. This is crazy. Well, of course we would do that, right? $250 gift card, restaurant, whatever, partnership, ones with good social media that tie that connection. It's like organic backlinking people. Again, if we're trying to tie this parallel to your websites, your, your digital marketing, et cetera, I'm like a converted person here, man. Like five, again, five, seven years ago, pfft, social media, don't waste the money, blah, 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 blah. Data, I'm a believer in what I see and what I know. That's my, that's a problem for me normally. And so, in this case, I've watched the data change. I've watched the influence change. I've watched and listened to the customer behavior change. And so it isn't always a get about paying for an ad, though. And I want to just make that as clear as I can. I don't need you to be paying for ads left and right. Have an ad part of the budget. So if we want to work down, right, where do I think the influence of social media falls on our pretty little, you know, uh, funnel here, right? Well, it's definitely in the top in consideration. It's definitely in the middle in starting to pick a lane. And it's definitely in the converting element. It offers opportunities still in challenge credit. It's difficult, but still offers opportunity. It offers localized targeting on the organic side in a way that nothing else could really do it besides your website. But again, this is like an addition. This is more ways to see it, more ways to be seen, right? We have clients that are organically reaching nine, a million accounts, right? 900,000 million accounts, organically, eyeballs. Say what you will, but that's, that's the point over here at Google anyways, right? Conversion, yeah, conversion happens on the site. But that site traffic now, we can watch and see it convert from the organic social side. So we know it. The paid element exists there as well. So it's it, 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 it it's featured in all three parts of the funnel. Thus, it should probably be somewhere around 30% of total budget, maybe pushing 40, especially if we're considering human capital. And human capital should be a part of your budget, which is why most of your budgets don't cut it. And most of your humans don't cut it either from the standpoint of you don't have enough of them. Most of the time in marketing departments, it's sort of the next last place we go to look to support. But I'm telling you, if you do it right, there's massive value to be had in, in what can be done with social, especially groups that have localized community outreach programs and spend money on it already. If you are one of those groups, you should call us. We will help guide you in how to make that part turn your dealership wild on social media. That's it for my take. Next week on the show, we're going to have some more fun. Tune in. 
for another episode of Social September. Five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Go out, have yourselves a great week.